Hello everybody and welcome back and as you can see we got a bunch of stuff going on here. What we're going to talk about today is how to make leather because we can kind of get some in a bit of a cheaty way through the fishing but that's here and there few and far between. So we're going to talk about how to actually produce it. You can't just go out and kill a cow or kill a horse and get leather. You have to get leather in a specific way. And you start off, if you happen to run across animals that have already died in the world, or if you wind up killing a couple, or if you're doing farming and have bulls that you need to thin out and do that, you start getting the pelts. And what you do is you use that with a work blade over top of it. And you get these raw hides. And you get quite a lot of them. So you don't need a huge amount. And each animal, I believe, gives you a different amount. So now that we have the raw hides, that's the first step. We have a lot of it. So, we'll take the raw hides, and we'll take some of the salt, and the next step is you mix the raw hides with the salt. Oh, it can be pretty much any kind of salt, and I'll show you, see, it can be any kind of salt, pretty much. Primal core, vanilla food pantry animania, whatever, um, any kind of salt. We'll get that, and we'll put that in there. We have 57. Now, for the salted hides, this is where it's going to start getting uh, a bit grindy, because you have to put the salted hides on a drying rack, and we made drying racks before, so you know they're not that hard to make. They're just a bit of wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to fill up our drying racks with the salted hides. Fill them all right up. And let them go. And they take a few minutes. So, and I also did something here. We looked at the charcoal pits a bit in the last episode. I put some wood of each kind in here. And another bat. Yeah. Oh, well. Sometimes you run across things like that. So, while we're waiting for that, let's look at. Okay, this is oak makes the fair grade. Spruce makes good grade. Jungle, high grade. Acacia, good grade. Dark oak is probably about the worst. The ironwood, the, the black ironwood, not those, but the big black trees, the primal core ironwood makes the high grade as well. The U makes the poor grade. And the Corfiri, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, also makes the high grade. So let's just clean this up. And I'll show you the difference of what comes out of each of these stacks. So, okay. We're going to take these down for the moment. And we're going to go into game mode one. And I'm just going to do crates.
I'm just gonna do a crate for right now. I'll just throw it there. <clears throat> well, we can do for each one. I'm just gonna throw one over here to throw this random garbage in there, and you can't put a crate inside a crate, apparently. So we'll just delete that one. So. You get your pick. And this was the oak. The fair grades. When you dig it up, you need a pick. So you'll get fair grade, a few good grade, and some regular charcoal. That was from the oak. Okay, we did the fair grade, so we'll do a good grade and a high grade and a poor grade <clears throat> to see what the difference is. Okay, this is the good grade charcoal. Charcoal stacks. And we get some of the fair grade, a lot of good, and a couple pieces of high grade. So we'll look at the fair grade first. Uses. Uh, using it as a fuel smelts eight items. Good grade, using it as a fuel, 10 items. High grade, smelts 12 items. Okay, now we will look at a high grade charcoal stack. And we'll notice quite a bit of difference we get all this high grade over a stack with just a few stacks here which is really good now we'll look at a poor grade and see what all we get I mean if you wanted to do a poor grade you can get a few pieces of fair grade which is eight items and get mostly regular charcoal which is fine if you want to just do charcoal, regular charcoal, do the woods that have um, poor, like the yew, or I believe birch was also poor grade. And we have still all this. We have a lot of high grades and fair grades and good grade. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much production right there you go. And... But we'll talk about a bit more of the production of leather. So once you get it off the drying racks, you'll get the dried hides. And this is where it gets complicated. You'll need a cauldron. And... Not... Not the vanilla cauldron. You'll need iron cauldron. This takes some iron. You'll also need a cauldron lid, which you can make the iron plates for this by using a work tool over iron horse armor you can get four. Or you can use a Gallagher. And we have one here and we have one here. And I believe you can just go just like that. Does it need to be might need to be a certain specific Gallagher? Um, okay, cauldron lids. We'll do it this way recipe for that. Uh, quartz or an iron. Okay, quartz. You need blocks of quartz. Well, you'll need to get a Gallagher that can do it. An iron or a quartz one. I thought it was any kind of a Gallagher. But you can get one and some iron. Or uh, have a blacksmith make cauldron and cauldron lid for you. And start going there and 
but we will take the dried hide, which I have a couple here, and you turn it into tanned hides. Okay, after you make the cauldron, it has to be above a fire source, and this thing does take a while to get to the point where it'll work. You also need a ladle, which is just, uh, for this one it's two ironwood sticks, uh, corfiri sticks, lacquer sticks, U sticks, or you can even make a bone one. Easiest one to make would probably be bone. So you go to your cauldron, and see down at the bottom it says tannin 1000 cauldrons currently hot. Well, when you first put one down, it, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently, it is hot. And you take the lid off, and, okay, I think I only have. Yeah, I only have the tannin in there. And I believe you just throw it in. Dried hide. Put the lid back on. And you wait. I believe I can put in both pieces that I have. And you put the lid back on. And you can check it. See now it says dry hide parentheses two. There's two in there. So that is that. But we're going to go into game mode one for a moment and get a cauldron, a cauldron lid, and I will show you pretty much how you have to set this up. And we'll put the cauldron there and the lid on top. We'll need a fire source. The low grade charcoal is easy to make. You, you know, you put it in your kiln, the clay kiln that's also over a fire source. I believe we looked into that earlier. And we want fire starter and of course the blocks that you can surround it you don't have to use these blocks I'm just using these for uh, demonstration purposes but it should be something that doesn't catch on fire and we'll keep our ladle and now if you look at it it says cauldron is currently cold you take the lid off Take the lid off, get you a bucket, and have a water source nearby. You start filling your cauldron. I believe it takes four buckets. Three, four, yep, four. And I believe the cauldrons will fill with the rain. So we'll put the lid back on this now and water 4000. Cauldron is currently cold. This is what you need to do to start with. You set it up like this and you wait. It go through cold, then warm, then hot. Okay. Now we have tanned hides. So we take the top off and we get apparently we only oh we have a dried hide still okay that's fine we'll put that in dried hide put the lid back on <coughs> excuse me and you basically you let it cook but once you get the tanned hides the last step 
is you get your tanned hides and you put them on a drying rack to get leather but another step here that uh, I haven't went over yet you can see now the cauldron is currently warm which we're going to wait for a minute for that to get hot and while we're doing that I'm going to set it back to day again and we're going to go since we looked at the charcoal pits and what the outcome for that is we're going to take a look at our fishing traps again since it's been a while between episodes uh, raw fish puffer fish obsidian clown fish now for the vanilla fish which is cool and more flying fish slime ball muck that's good swift flying fish bone meal another slime ball muscle fish And we have a diamond in that one. That is pretty awesome. Okay, and a lava fish. And yeah. So I mean out of six traps and probably half an hour to an hour's worth of doing stuff. I got all that. And a diamond, which is really awesome. So we're gonna put this stuff in here. And this is some stuff that you can get from this stuff in the top rows, which I'll show you momentarily, um, from fishing, with the fishing poles. And I'm going to throw all the rest of this stuff, the frog, the squids, put our buckets back, put that back. <clears throat> yeah. So, okay. These we'll look at last. And the different fish, you can, I believe, yeah, all the different fish, you can turn them into the raw fish fillets, and you can get a lot of stuff. This jellyfish, you can make mundane potions, so, awkward potions to a potion of poison, and you can make poison potions. And, yeah, so brewing ingredient, a potion ingredient, you can sell those, yeah, get ink sacs from the squid, that's kind of an obvious thing. Turtles, you can make something cool with the turtles. You can make turtle soup with just a turtle and a bucket of water. So that's kind of cool. Frog legs, another food, rainbow trout. Um, sharks, you get a lot of the fish from the sharks. So just those few fish, we got all this meat. But the goldfish are pretty cool. You turn them to gold nuggets. That is an easy way to get gold. And the whales, you get whale steak. It's these you have to catch in the ocean, and they're 10% protein. So fishing is a very profitable uh, profession. And now we'll look at the different treasure boxes you can catch. And these are the order you catch them in. From worst quality to best quality. Box, lock box, treasure chest, and Neptune's bounty. So we'll open six of these and see what we get. Apparently it looks like we got some charcoal, jungle sapling, a stick, carrot, that's actually needed a carrot. We're going to go plant that baby right now. And yep, there we go, planted the carrot. So you get some random stuff and again, you can turn these into leather, which is what I'm going to do. 
lock boxes. Two, three, four. We got a book, gunpowder, redstone, some lapis, and the treasure chests, an emerald, gold, and iron nugget. And we can make a few different things with emeralds. You can make uh, all this stuff. And you can flake it to use the emerald flakes to make other emerald tools. I believe the emerald tools are just as good as diamond tools of their comparative level. And these, the Neptune's Bounty, can give you some really cool stuff. You can get a Neptunian hoe, a Neptunian axe, which I'm going to trade out. That's an upgrade. Oh, nice hoe. And this one is short, has reach distance. But that one's just regular, so that's not a big deal. But that is short. I don't really care. So, yeah, we got all that stuff from fishing all this stuff so that is a pretty decent haul and we even got more stuff here too so fishing is good you can make a lot of money with fishing and eat that and we'll go we'll check on our leather again and we need that and that is now hot Okay, and is that tanned hide? Yep. And we got the tanned hide. We'll put the lid back on it. And now that you have this, you need to make tannin from your water. And how you make tannin is you need stone, that and that, uh, the stone basin, just three pieces of stone and a bucket or a bowl shaped and to make the rocks you can use like the stone Gallagher on any kind of stone to make these rocks and what you do in a crafting table is I'll show you real quick the recipe we have a crafting table right here okay this goes in the middle this goes there, this goes there. And it can be any anywhere, but it has to be in this pattern. So you get that. Okay. Then once you have um, tannin, or the ground resin, you put it in one piece for 250 units of water. So you need four pieces to make a full bucket. So you need 16 of these to make a full cauldron of tannin. And whoops, I'm going in the wrong direction. And we got a feather. So we'll grab this. I'm going to use 12 because I'm going to show you something. So, okay, this is the one where we have the hot water, right? Yep. Whoop, we we'll stand up on it. And get burnt, and I need... I'm just going to do that. I was going to show you something else, but I forgot that I had the cauldron full. And drop them in. Put the lid on. And we'll check it. Cauldron is currently hot. <clears throat> Ground resin 16, water 4000. And yeah, that's how you make the resin. And we'll take the top off of that. And I also have, I don't want to drink that stuff. We'll take that down, take that down. I believe you can put, yeah, okay. There we go. We'll check it again and it's cold so we're going to need that to heat back up which is fine 
so yeah and after waiting this stuff is still not dry this stuff is still not dry it takes a while to make leather but I mean it's not a difficult process it's just a lengthy process and we'll see none of this is dry yet so there's that now we're just going to turn it back to day so that is fishing and how rewarding fishing can be uh, random junk different grades of charcoal and when we do blacksmithing when I when I do the tutorial video for how to get into blacksmithing I'll show you the difference of what the high grade, low grade, good grade, fair grade and all that I'll show you what the difference between the charcoals are and what you can do with it but that will be might be in the next episode, might be in the episode after I'm not entirely sure exactly when yet but it's coming so until then guys I hope you had a good time and I will catch you later have a good one bye bye